okay after the three strikes minus one video about the bird's nest, you owe me an apology, right? I, I'm sorry, Mr. Chuck. I just happened to notice ye it yesterday also. Yep. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. How's everybody out there in YouTube land? Well, let's just quickly show what we was talking about in case you missed last night's video. Girls out here on the patio again. Last night, I was talking about, you know, we I didn't do... She, she told me I was supposed to do the dishes, and I didn't do it. <laughs> and that. And, uh... I was supposed to clean off a uh, twigs out of that. I didn't do that. She and she told me that I lied about a nest that wasn't in the video that we talked about. A couple, I think, uh, Master Chef Angie video. It was early in the video. There was there was no nest down here. But now, if you saw last night, and then once again, we have a nest. And of course, we have that uh, visitor down there. And right now, we're going to come in, and, uh oh <laughs> now we're going to go in back in the apartment, which Angie just locked me out. Let me in! <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> all right, Angie, where are we at now? This is not our patio. This is not our patio at all. And it's this, yeah, where we're at? My mom's house. Yep, we're at her mom and dad's house, and this is the what we, they were nice enough to let us set up the tent in the backyard. It's a six-man tent, and right now let's go over and take a look at it. This thing's big and awesome, isn't it, Angie? Yep. Hard to believe we had this for about ten years, so let's just flip, flip it around and take a look at it. And there it is. That's what we're going to use on our camping trip in, uh, in Ohio. Boy, it's so big, it can't even fit on the camera. So we're going to do a little... We just had to make sure... we got we got to brush off some of this stuff before we take it down. Make sure it's all dried. And that. Because we haven't used this in about... Uh, since what? We had this tent for t 10 years, and we haven't used it since 2010. Bird, bird marks right there. It was really wet on the outside of this morning. Yeah. It should be drying off really good here. So we just got to take a brush or old towel brush it off and well right now let's just go inside give you a little tent tour now we're going inside do our little tent tour it's not much inside just like normal tents are really? yep we got the oh, first. yeah take that down take the partition down we got a partition here but Look how big and spacey this is. We're just doing some final inspections in this tent. Get out of my way! Yep. Angie's coming Angie's way. Uh, we got two storage pockets. One right here. And we got one over there in the corner. Yeah, right over there. And we also got a hanging storage that we have up here. If you can barely see it. Got a hanging storage. Right now, let's just get some light in the subject in here. Basically, we got. I think these spots should be okay. Like I said, we had not used this in ten in ten years. And besides that, we gotta have these open anyway. We gotta have these open anyway when we probably knock this tent down. But nice and spacey in here. I got this half. You got that half? Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Up here. You want up here. Right there. There you go. That's what you want. That's helped uh, deflate the air when we start taking this down. You want that down? Yeah, I'll take that down too, so. Ah! That's that other storage thing. We usually hang lights up there and aim them down. But when we put our air mattress, we'll put our air mattress on one of the sides. When we do the campground with electricity, we're going to set up a table and place to set up our uh, cell phones and way to charge them up and put something else in there too. So, and that. So, so you like, still like the tent, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you want the side open too? Uh, yeah, just open it so it'll help uh, ventilate. Yeah, we're going to open this up real quick and we'll knock it down here real quick. Okay, these uh, little pockets right here, they're for storage. 
We can throw our tools and maybe hide some extra firewood. We got one over here too. Basically, look at the space we have inside of that. That's just like the other, look at all that space in there. And same thing over there. We don't need those open when we take it down. So let's go ahead and zip them up. The roof is uh, a different piece. There's a pole that goes across there. We tie it and fasten it down here. We fasten everything down here. We got seven stakes to go all the way around the tent. Uh, two major poles that goes up and over, crisscross over here, and one over there. Then it got two smaller link poles that will hold up the, the window side. So that's basically how the tent is holding up. This is, like I said, we're using this in June, right? Yep. Yep. We sure so, are. Yep. By the way, this is a nice backyard, Angie. It is. I don't know about your dad, but uh, okay. That's another issue for later. But uh, yeah, right now before we knock it down, we gotta get a broom, see if we can do a light brushing off of this real quick, see what we can do. Right? Yep. And she's gonna try to clean off some of that excess dirt. If it doesn't come off, yeah, just try to get that spider web off if you can, that white thing, if it comes off. If not, I'll just pluck it off my fingers. Looks like we got it. Yeah, it ain't gonna, it needs a good wash down basically. So it needs a good heavy rain. I'm hoping we don't do it on the trip. No, don't do anything up there. Oh, okay, that's that's bird that's bird residue. That's bird calling card. I think we yeah, because I think last time we used this, uh, it rained. We had some rain, that's why we had a, a little bit mud residue in there. I don't think we properly dried it off last time we used it. There. There. Angie, you did a wonderful job. Did a wonderful job. Next. Next. <laughs> so like I said before with the tent, we got seven uh, metal stakes, two two main support beams, one support uh, pole for the roof, and two side supports for the side doors. And of course, we forgot to tell you that these can be used as, right here, can be used as a exit, which I think we should demonstrate real quick. I'll do it. Do it from uh, do it from over here. Yeah, no, no, do it from inside. Do it from inside, Angie. Because this little round thing, in case you don't want to bug your neighbors, you just sneak out right here. You got to hold it separately from the rest so it doesn't lock in. Nope, you're ripping. Hold it separately. Hold the zipper and the side separately. See how this opens up? Angie, don't hold this. Hold up here. It's getting hot. There you go. There! Now you got a little side exit there. Watch out. Call it a fire exit. <laughs> yep. Good job there, Angie. Thanks. Now you want me to zip it back up? Yeah, let's just zip it back up. We don't have to show okay, that. Okay, I got the GoPro set up because we're going to do a little time lapse photo photographing how we knocked the thing down. Of course, we didn't photograph it setting up because we were very busy. Uh, we had to get it up right away because time was running out uh, the night we set it up because it was almost sunset, so we had to get it up right away. That's why we didn't vlog it going up. So now we're gonna uh, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll do it again uh, when we do our Cedar Point trip uh, in June, hopefully. Uh, I got I got the GoPro set up. I got the uh, cell phone. Make sure uh, we got the video that we wanted set up. So let's get this thing knocked down. Let's get to it right now, right? Yes. Let's do it.
like that. The tanner's gone. It's been up here for two days. Damage is basically a minimum. That, for some reason, it's a little bit more green where the tent was, where there wasn't in the tent. <laughs> Figure that out. <laughs> Usually we kill the grass, but it looks like we made it more greener with the tent set up. So I guess we timed it right. Before we forget, this is Angie's mom and dad's little patio. Much better than that, so nice patio. <laughs> but we're happy with ours. We got at least we got a view we see deer. And just like that, we're back on our own patio, basically, which is good because we got a nice view of the ravine over there and no deer today. So, no, bummer. there is none. Okay, uh, yeah, that's our six man tent. We are planning to use it for the Cedar Point trip. Uh, we're going to put that thing up. We'll probably do a time lapse video how we put that thing up. Always oh, knocking it down, it doesn't really give the uh, how we set it up with <laughs> any justice because we just took everything in reverse and just knocked it down, right? Which it didn't take long at all. Yeah, I think what, I don't know how long I did it on the time lapse because the time I'm doing this, I haven't really edited it yet, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be about, on, about a minute and a half. It didn't take long at all, so, and that, so, yep. Nice day and kind of short window for today because that kind of put me out in a hurry, I guess, somewhat. Because a lot of pushing. Oh, I, oh, yeah, because we had to go take it down to the storage bin and did some moving around in there, so I had to move some heavy stuff and that. And just getting a visitor, right? Was. Twice. <laughs> Twice and that. It left. It left. We have a birdie, so our birds uh, loves us. Is the dove still there? I don't know if the dove is still here or not. Let's see if our dove is still here. I'm pretty sure it's still here. No, it went out for lunch. It's not. Hi, Sparrow. Our dove is not here, so our morning dove is not here, so. We're going to end the show right here, basically, because we don't want to drag this on too long. So, Angie, you want to do the honors? Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. And we'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye. Bye.